It is an awesome week to be a Star Wars fan. Star Wars 3D was announced for theaters, and the droid R2-D2 version is coming out this week. As you can see, this is it. We've got it in the office. I am super psyched. Uh, the packaging is obviously really, you know, inspired by the Star Wars uh, franchise. You've got kind of like a gunmetal gray, kind of worn p packaging. But on the back, of course, you've got the Star Wars logo, Empire Strikes Back, limited edition, uh, in case you weren't sure. So, uh, yeah, but the heart of the matter, of course, is the unit inside, which, of course, is the R2-D2-themed Droid 2. Uh, this is the handset itself. As you can see, uh, it's just like the Droid 2. There's no exclusive like hardware features aside from the awesome R2-D2 design on the back. Um, what is exclusive to it, though, are is a whole series of Star Wars content. So you've got like Star Wars logo backgrounds. You've got uh, exclusive notification sounds that sound just like R2-D2. So I'll try to power this on while we wait for that to happen. Let's check out what else is in the box. So you should expect the standard array of chargers and crap that isn't really all that interesting, but it also comes with a new exclusive Star Wars charging stand, which uh, is again themed after our favorite droid from the series. Let's see if I can get this out of here. Oh, speaking of which, it turns on just like this. This is the welcome screen, and it is, of course, RTD2, and it squeaks just like him. So while well, that continues to do that, back to the stand itself, though, you've got, uh, you know, again, themed like RTD2. It's got like kind of like a droid chip kind of effect on it, and it's basically a dock, so you can charge it with your uh, a wall outlet, or you can plug it into your computer. It's got the uh, Star Wars logo on the top here, and then, of course, the droid R2-D2 on the front. Back to the unit itself, though, as you can see, it comes preloaded with the Star Wars logo backdrop. Uh, the unlock screen is actually like the Imperial uh, logo and then the uh, Alliance, the Rebel Alliance. So if you slide to unlock, you've got the actual interface here, which of course is based on uh, Android 2.2 Froyo. Uh, and it's got, you know, of course, the background themed by it. And you can see a little clock widget that's actually just like R2-D2. It displays the, the time, like uh, almost sort of like a projection. Uh, and of course, it comes preloaded with Verizon's exclusive Star Wars app which is, uh, again, exclusive to Verizon users and um, has, again, more exclusive Star Wars content. So uh, just a general rundown of the features of the device itself. It's a 3.7 touchscreen. It's, again, br based on Froyo. On the back, it's got a 5 megapixel camera, which can record HD video and high quality pictures. And of course, it is a slider phone. So you've got the full QWERTY keyboard for those of you who don't like to type on the screen. So as you can see, we've got it in our hands. We're going to give it the full rundown in terms of uh, review and hands-on, so stay tuned to gear.igen.com.